How's it going my good friends? So in this video I'm going to show you how I turned this into... Wait, I actually need to build it now. So guys, this is the long-awaited video. I know that a lot of you wanted to see how I made this also. And for those who don't know, I actually made this project a while back while I did the Astrolabe. So just to make it clear, this is a reassembly video about this project. But having said that, if you want to make this skull saw yourself and maybe the video is not clear enough, I decided I will draw some plans for this, uh, which I will link down below. And actually those plans are an improved version of this skull saw because I found some mistakes and inaccuracies in the project. So if you do make it yourself, it should be even better than mine. Having said that, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, let's get to it. If you want to do this yourself and you don't have the leather strap, you can probably find one online. But if not, I think the surgical tubes, you know what I'm talking about, the one that are kind of orangey would work just as well. But this should work already. <laughs> this uh, ugly looking piece of wood is actually the heart of the skull saw, as I would call it, because this is the part that converts the rotational motion to a linear one. And uh, this will result in the skull saw going up and down in uh, the fashion that we know and love. And later on in the video, you'll see how simple it is and how it uh, functions. So the next step is to make the skull saw itself. So I started off by making two beams like so. It's not the most uh, creative way to attach this, but it works. <laughs> so the idea is that they work in conjunction with each other, like that. They need to stay parallel, so they're being held like so. Then this comes from the other side. that. Lovely, now we need to attach this one. All right. These two hands need to kind of give the blade tension and that's where this thing comes in. I've made this circular thing, this will go right in here. And uh, this could be basically any shape you want it to be. We're almost ready to test it out. Thing is, we have a little bit of kind of a slack. So we can have a little bit of slack. I mean, well, probably don't want to, but we also don't want to have it too tight. Slick it in. So as you can see, it works uh, pretty nicely. 
uh, but you can hear that it's a bit loud and it's a bit and it gets a little bit vibrated because everything doesn't fit you know perfectly nicely uh, the bearing housing is a bit loose and uh, yeah this was I kind of fabricated this quickly to no, not quickly but relatively quickly uh, so I can get a lot of cutting a little bit faster and things like that however with a bit more patient and maybe invest in some more uh, appropriate way to hold the bearings and things like that I can make it a bit more rigid and better and more solid and less loud and vibrating and that's exactly what I'm gonna do but not for the scroll saw I'm actually going to get rid of it we're gonna take it apart and make a lathe out of it <laughs> 